Hello, welcome back. This is Joyce Herb with paperfinesse.blogspot.com and my YouTube channel is just Paper Finesse. I'd like to announce that I am now part of the Dies or Us design team. And for today's card, I'll be using two dies from their store, Cheery Lynn's Wedding Vows and Cheery Lynn's Small Butterflies. Here's a look at the, at the die that we'll be using. This is the Wedding Vows, and as you can see, it is a full card design, and it's really intricate. And those are the butterflies that we'll be cutting on the shimmery paper. The paper changes colors depending on how the light hits it or what's near it. It's difficult to photograph, though. And I'm going to show you the sandwich that I use in the Vagabond. And I believe for the big shot, it is all tabs closed. Here I've got the big base and the shim, the thin die adapter. The only change is I'm using the precision plate with the silver or black side up in place of the bottom plate. So if you remember that you do your regular die cutting sandwich, but replace the bottom plate with the precision plate and then lay it down upside down on the paper put on your cover plate and push it through at least twice. This particular paper is not all that thick. If the paper was much thicker, I would go three or four times and it just falls out. It's wonderful. I'll be showing you that here in just a second. And that precision plate is a must if you like intricate dies like I do. It works better than anything I've ever tried. I don't have to shim, it's already a little bit tighter, but look at the intricacy of this die. It's just beautiful. I'm going to be layering it on top of this glitter paper. This is from Die Cuts with a View Pad. And I'll be gluing that on. Here I just want it to give you a closer up look of the gorgeous cuts it made. I use the Dries, Dries as Clear Art Institute glue. I love this glue. First, it's easy to squeeze. It's easier to squeeze anyway. And it doesn't bubble your paper. And so far it's glued about everything I've tried to glue with it. Very good glue. So I'm just dabbing along the edge and I will put a little bit of glue down each per each silhouette. The hardest part about using this die is just picking out the paper and colors you want to use. Then I'm just laying this on the back side to line it up. And because I use liquid glue, I'm able to move it around a little bit to position it just right. I'm just checking everything. There's one little spot sticking up that I'm going to slip a little bit of glue behind. But isn't this gorgeous? I'm going to start embellishing it now. And the first thing I do is I take some chipboard letters I had and I figure out where to place the I do and I paint it with silver right now and I wasn't sure if I was going to use the Nouveau silver or the stickles I did end up coating them in stickles and then silver glitter those were uh, micro beads silver and white and I'm poking out the little bits from the butterfly and look how easy they fall out another way to get them out is if you have a um, sponge mat Put it on a piece of foam with a brush and brush over them and they also fall out. Here I'm putting some medium sized pearls along the top of the arch. 
I actually glue one of them because the adhesive from the pearls didn't pick up. I did speed this portion up for you so you didn't have to watch me slowly take these pearls off. That's where I'm gluing the one on. Now I'm taking the itty bitty ones and putting the, um, them in the center of the butterfly. I believe I put three in there. Then I will adhere the butterfly to the top right corner of the card. Now I'm adding glue to her dress and I'm going to be spreading it around. I'm not looking for full coverage. I'm just going to be putting on some beads. So I'm sprinkling out a little bit of the silver, tiny, tiny beads. And then I'm going to be sprinkling on white. And these are Martha Stewart. I believe they're called micro beads. Just pressing them on a little bit. And once they're dry, I will be adding four little pearls along the top of her dress. And I just shake it off and I'll put it aside and let it dry. Here's the finished card with everything added, plus um, the first edition I made that I wasn't as crazy about, but I still showed you another option. Please like and subscribe, and leave comments for me, and please let me know what type of videos you would really like to see. Have a great day.